Hey, you guys. Go. What's up, Scott? Nico. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. It's so nice to see you again. It's been nice to see all of you again, as we come all on, spoke to you. Come on, come on. It's, it's, all, it's all two years, a year and a half. Two years. Yeah, a year and a half. Yeah, yeah well, it was, it was the summer, wasn't it? 2020, when we were all stuck at home. <laughs> yeah. It's so weird, like, you know, uh, us doing all this virtual press and stuff like that. It's almost like speed dating. And it's like, oh, wait, I remember you. <laughs> Why didn't we go out? Oh, heck. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I, we are back. We are back. We are, we are back. We are back for round number two, which is, which is fantastic. It's been great to speak to you all because obviously we spoke, we all spoke during what was a bit of a crazy time, even though we were celebrating the show. It was mm -hmm. yeah. very, very unpredictable as to what was going on. So it's nice to, to circle back again. How excited are you? That we're finally here because you've had to wait two years for season two and now oh. finally we're here <laughs> Scott, i am like overjoyed i'm almost like a, a kid in the candy store i'm like ah! you know <laughs> there's so much that there's so much love that has gone into the project over these last two years there's so much effort in terms from the writing to the, the the conceptualizing the wardrobe the dance the lighting the production value like uh and that that just pours into as the actor and makes it deeper and like take your roots and stuff like that so i'm really 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 amped for season two yeah and season one obviously was a was a great success but you had to kind of celebrate in a strange way because you couldn't all be together and obviously the pandemic mm -hmm. was still still going on so i guess slightly bittersweet in that you didn't have a premiere and you weren't able to kind of be together so it must have been a yeah. strange place to be in celebrating but also not quite completely celebrating if you like yeah it in an odd way though it it was in preparation for what season two would be you know mm. uh you know in terms of just the show addressing the pandemic head on had we not had the time where we were able to what well, everyone on the planet had to you know that moment of pause right but to be in the space of as an artist to how, how art is digested in this space and what it is that you put out. I think it's really been a interesting little process like here, I'm like, oh, this is feeding you in another kind of way. Yeah, and you guys, I mean, you've had, you had great success. How, how was it feeling for you guys in terms of that process and that success? Because you come out with a new show, you hope people embrace it and hope people right. watch it. And because there's so much content out there these days, but you guys seem to have found something special in amongst all of the amount of content how was it kind of processing it for you guys given that you know you hope people will watch it and now you've got a lot of people watching it <laughs> um it's still something that is in the process i don't think it's you know something like it's not done you know i think that the audience for the show is continuing to grow i think that being outside definitely helps that but I also think that because the show take it tackles like such a, a specific area of marginalized community, you know, that doesn't get amplified voices like that. So I think that because it's such a unique and, and it's such a niche kind of a show that the eyes and attention are going to it. And then I think also just because of the the artistry and the craftsmanship that goes into creating this show i think that people feel that whether they know that that is what they are feeling or, or relating to or not you know it's kind of like the docu series aspect or, or approach to the storytelling in p valley where sometimes people are like oh you know you i need you to come and dance at my show and it's like wait 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 i'm an actor baby i don't i don't i don't you i can i can call one of my girls and we can get <laughs> that gig for them <laughs> You know, but I think that like that's just such a compliment. It's such a compliment because people are seeing the 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 story in a real life way and and just being able to move from that. So I'm here for it. It's a beautiful, beautiful, powerful thing. Yeah, and all I spoke to pretty much all of your amazing cast members as well, and they talked about how the show, as you said, about how good the writing is and the performances and everything else in between, but that there's no small parts. Every single character no. has a journey. Everyone has 
you know, they want to grow and they become different people and everything else. That must be such an amazing thing to be part of that it's not just one or two stars. You guys are all in it together. You are all as important yeah. as each other and you're all embracing each other in, in this fantastic ensemble. Scott, what's interesting is that the, I think that artists, sometimes you can get uh, accustomed to the beat down that comes with the job, you know, what it takes to get there. And whether you are a writer, whether you're a director or set uh, crew person, and during this show, I, I have seen some, some of the actors that are co-stars and guest stars, they can come in with that idea of like, oh, I'm just, you know, this little character. And it's like, no, 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 no. You got to show up because you do this and it does this and it does this. And it's and like, it's integral to the story. But that also, I think, is just how we should approach life for ourselves. We are all so important and vital. Like, your little discipleship, your part matters in the whole body. Uh, everyone's been saying about Katuri, and I spoke to her last mm -hmm. last time, and she's like a, a force of nature, and everyone else was saying how much of a force of nature is, and she's had this story mm -hmm. kind of, she's prepared for these two, and she's prepared for more. Uh, mm -hmm. How delighted are you for her that she had this, this concept and wanted to tell this story about, as you say, these marginalized people and everything else that she's been able to bring everything that she wanted to, to the show and has been embraced by so many people. When I spoke, I spoke to her when we, uh, it was shortly after we wrapped and uh, wrapped filming. And I said, how are you feeling? Uh, and she was in an editing suite for one of the episodes. And the way she was talking, my response to her was, you sound happy in terms of fulfilled like there's I know I am I know I am there's a level of fulfillment uh when you have been stretched when you have been called upon as an artist to dig deep to 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 really hunker down and do this work that oftentimes you don't get an opportunity to do that oftentimes characters that represent your community are not given such uh, depth and breadth. But every day when you walk past people in the community, you know that that's what we're dealing with. You know that there's a real person on the inside just thinking about how do I keep myself afloat? So whether you are a sex worker, whether you are a pole dancer, whether you are a non-binary person, or if you are a pansexual, artists, what, whatever your identity is, like the human experience and being able to reflect that in this work, it's really, really gratifying as an artist. And hopefully we are being change agents for, for people out there and for, for political things and, and that climate to shift and for us just to be more of a loving world, period. Yeah. Tell me about uh, coming back to play Uncle Clifford again, because we leave him at a certain point in season one, now coming back into season two. And he's had such an impact, not just in terms of the audience, but on the show. So for you mm -hmm. as a performer, what was it like going back to play someone again, seeing the growth, seeing the kind of maturity and seeing him kind of evolve and do you do different things than maybe you weren't expecting in series two? Well, seeing Uncle Clifford go through her uh, process of, how to exist in, in the pandemic of it all and, and to keep the things afloat. It was interesting. I was, um, I want to say, I want to say the actor PR in me wants to say excited, but the truth and reality of it is when I read it, I was exhausted. <laughs> 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 because there were so many things, yeah. so many feelings, so many thoughts, so many um just so many things and none of them were extravagant none of them were like fantastical all of the things that uncle clifford this season gets to experience and goes through are so fundamentally like grown like grown af as we say <laughs> you know grown i don't know what we could do but i'm gonna say it grown as fuck there is no excuse or getting around how do you deal with an ailing um, elder. There's no excuse around dealing with how do you keep your business afloat. There's no excuse around how do you deal with the lack of love, intimacy in this space. You know, in this pandemic, a lot of us have been um, having that touch hunger, 
you know, mm. whether that was for intimacy and romantic, being able to lace all of that stuff through the story has been really, really, really exhausting, but it also is refreshing. Um, and I think that because we all have been in that space, you get to come along the journey and see these characters, learn more about them, but also at the same time and how they could come out on the other side and hopefully in turn you, the audience. Indeed. And it's it's become a show that's yeah. kind of uh, punctured the kind of pop culture. I was saying it to the other guys about how they've mm-hmm. gone on social, me- and social media and seen people dressed up as the characters and want to kind of, you know, it's, it's been embraced <laughs> by everybody. Have you... Is that a weird sensation seeing all these kind of celebrities, but also like fans that are now have fan pages and doing Halloween and doing TikTok stuff? That that must be a slightly overwhelming but very <laughs> rewarding experience to see all that happening. It is rewarding. It is rewarding for sure. It's um I feel when I think about it, I feel breath. Like, okay, you know, for me to see, um, I think sometimes a lot of people get a bad rap you know, uh, and the bad reputation, whether that is from certain people ostracizing um, members of the LGBTQ plus community um, and to be able to see people with platforms, people that can be hyper-masculine, people that are not necessarily known for advocating in the community, to see them speak out and express their love and inclusion of the show, and especially specifically Uncle Clifford, I feel really, really a part of um, a movement in a different kind of way that I didn't anticipate my artistry really being. Um, I'm very proud of it. I am grateful beyond belief for it. Um, It is a space that I, as a person, have lived in you know um and i just feel like when you have a Dion sanders from the nfl when you have a snoop dog from the you know that's a pinnacle in 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 in, uh, in hip-hop culture and culture period when you have lizzo a new fresh voice when you have the cardi b's when you have people that have this megaphone and they're speaking the love and they're speaking the truth it's like whoa that's awesome. It's awesome. It feels really great. And I think because it is about the love space, it doesn't feel like it's about me. So I'm even more, it doesn't feel weird in that. It's just like, yeah, let's love people. I'm here for it. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Absolutely. Uh, Nico, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so, so much for your time today. Uh, it's been wonderful to chat to you again. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get to see you again for season three. I hope that that happens for you guys. From your lips to God's ear. Yes, indeed. (laughs) Thank Uh, you. Absolute pleasure. Thanks so much for your time. Love you, Jack. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!